When we're talking about the balance point on a heat pump, there are a couple of different types of balance point. The first one that is normally plotted is the thermal balance point. This is the lowest outdoor temperature at which the heat pump can supply 100% of the heating required for the space. Where the heat load line and the capacity line of the heat pump intersect is the thermal balance point for that particular unit. Past this point, supplemental heat would be needed to maintain the space temperature. As the temperature outside drops, the heat pump has a harder time absorbing heat, reducing the amount it can bring into the home. The lower the temperature outside drops, the greater the heating needs are of the home. Where the two lines cross is the thermal balance point. When the outdoor temperature is higher than the balance point, the heat pump alone can keep the home comfortable. When the outdoor temperature is below the balance point, the heat pump needs help from backup heat sources, such as resistant heaters or a furnace. We have talked about the thermal balance point. The second balance point that we need to talk about is the economic balance point. This is the balance point where we switch from the operation of the heat pump to auxiliary heat. And in most cases, when we're talking about economic balance point, this would be a dual fuel application where operating the gas furnace would be more economical than operating the electric heat pump. When we are talking about supplemental or emergency heat, we need to define those terms. Supplemental heat makes up for the loss of capacity of the heat pump, whereas emergency heat heats the space in the event that the heat pump fails completely. Heat strips can also be staged to come in at different temperatures and different times. Depending on what thermostat you're using, you can sometimes program a thermostat to stage the heaters, or you would have to use relays to stage the heaters. The third balance point that you want to take into consideration is the comfort balance point. This point is normally a lot higher than your thermal or economic balance point. You have to take into consideration people who are generally colder than normal and a normal thermal balance point or an economic balance point would make the house way too cold for their comfort. So when sizing heat pumps and applying uh, possibly a dual fuel application or heat strips to back up the heat pump, you need to take into consideration the comfort balance point and the comfort of the people that you are doing this installation for. Go to arefco.com for more videos, like, subscribe, and check back every week for new videos.